Hi YouTube, this is NWI Prepper 19-113 and I uh, thought I'd let you in uh, on my uh, pumpkin pie carving uh, day today. I know it's a little late but uh, I gave the pies, uh, pumpkins a little extra time to uh, get a little sweeter, cure a little longer, get a little sweeter. You just have to watch, there's a delicate balance there right about the 1st of December the time to get your last pumpkins done because this is the second of December by the way and I didn't want them all to start collapsing on me and it'd be garbage no, with excess except for the seeds so I'm gonna be making pies out of these these are sugar pie pumpkins and uh, uh, I'm gonna show you a, a real quick easier way to get into a pumpkin than the traditional cut the top off and wrestle with the seeds okay this is uh see how nice that is nice and clean that got that's really you do this really quick <clears throat> inside a pumpkin it has six veins of seeds okay and they grow top to bottom they're not all spread haphazardly like a spider web in there the way it looks when you pull the top off on Halloween so um, anyway all I do is cut straight down okay, be careful and don't worry about uh, cutting through the top and the bottom we're not gonna need to worry about that uh, as far as cooking because when it cook, we're going to cook this in the microwave and when it cooks we're going to be able to scoop this like you'll see here once we cut our veins in, in this one we're, we're really not going to end up with any base or top if you wanted to like here's one of them one of the tops if you really wanted that little bit of meat or if you had a bigger pumpkin and you had a bigger disc from the top you can still you can microwave that and then scrape it off with a spoon okay so here we go we'll get this off real quick well not real quick because I'm using a knife so you want to be safe I'm just using a little old paring knife I just made two cuts to meet up that's all you don't have to go all the way around now here here are the veins I was telling you about okay easily remedied to get these out watch how fast this is you can feel the pith and where the pith meets the meat of the pumpkin okay the pith is very soft okay you can hear listen it's just like a wet rag that's not cutting that's just scraping dislocating or disengaging the pith from the meat and you don't have to go all the way through it all the way from one side to the other one scoop watch how quick this is whoops make a liar out of me go ahead okay well anyway you get the idea one scoop look at that okay now I got plenty of uh, seeds for next year to plant and uh, I'm gonna have some pumpkin pie tonight so uh, now if you want you can take this process your pumpkin plain no no spices or anything like that just go ahead and run it through your um, food processor uh, puree it put in some Ziploc bags and freeze it okay the uh, memory card crapped out on me there uh, getting back to what I was talking about was uh, when you process it you can go ahead and puree it and put it in uh, freezer bags and freeze it for later use or uh, you could uh, can it in your pressure canner uh, if you know how to do it I I don't I'm not real sure on that so don't hold me to it but anyway here I'll show you real quick one more time 
how to get this uh, this pith off of here. Just take a paring knife, go real close to your close to the meat, and just scrapes right off. Just sounds like you're crumbling paper. Okay. See that? And it comes off real easy. Like it's squirted in the eye with a seed or two, but relatively easy. I go most most of the way around here. Don't have to dig in until you get your spoon and you grab. You can feel when you're getting the very, very inside the heart of it. Scoop that right out. So it does it to me again. Oh well. Anyway, what would we, how do we do there? Not, we did lousy. Well, anyway, I can assure you that the first five or first, what, two, four, yeah, the, how many we got here? Two, four, six. The first six pieces weren't like that. Anyway, still a lot faster than the way you would do it for cutting a jack-o'-lantern. There we go. Better. That was quick. All right. I'm just going to take this off the rest of the way. And then I can, when I process it, I can go ahead and microwave the uh, stem part and I will use it because I hate to waste really hate to waste pumpkin. I waited all summer for these things to grow. Why throw it away, right? Nice piece. It'll 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 still work. It'll cook up and it'll scrape off of there and put in your pie. So um, next next thing is we'll just cut these pieces into what cut these uh halves into wedges just like this make them white enough for your spoon to get a hold of uh, when after they've been cooked so you you can boil these also and uh, a lot of people do but I, I don't like to do that because it makes the the pumpkin meat too wet then in my opinion anyway and uh, then you have to strain it and you know try to dry it out you don't want to get your pumpkin pie too messy wet that way and this way in the microwave it stays this way it just gets hot and cooked and you don't have to worry about letting it sit in a strainer for four hours to dry out so okay I'm not gonna bore you with cutting up the pumpkin uh, I'll get back to you when I'm ready to put them in the microwave or when I get them out of the microwave <laughs> I don't want to bore you with them sitting in the microwave either so when we get them out of the microwave bring you back and uh, show you how I scrape them out I'll show you how easy that is okay thank you be right back Okay. Welcome back. I just got these uh, out of the microwave a few minutes ago. They're still nice and warm. See how nice and pliable they are. And they, uh, all I'm going to do from here is uh, go ahead and scrape them out. Chop them up a little bit with a spoon. See how nice and easy that goes through there. Start, get them started. Whoops. Whoops, that didn't work. Uh, need a few more minutes. Yep, okay, a couple more minutes on that one. See you later. Well, I had a battery issue there. I hope the next camera I get, I can find one with a uh, low battery alarm because that really ticks me off. 
in the middle of one thing and you think you're recording and you're not anyway we jump from oh my god look at that pumpkin the pie and that one there is slipping over oh I've my god got to get a pan under it. there I'm gonna fix it. okay it's the cookie sheet push it towards the back because that comes up in the back tilt it this way and come bring your end this way and that end that way okay now push the whole thing in that way push I this end over I got to okay you. okay good what an adventure okay well we'll see you when they're done they're from our pumpkins out of the garden yeah and we got the last thing on tape remember geez okay be back in a bit Well, I hope this comes out. I know this looks dark on the camera, so it's going to come out dark on the screen. But it's better than nothing. This is the end of my great work with the pumpkins. So, uh, sorry about the uh, cut off in, in the middle with the batteries. And uh, we're going to enjoy some pie. Talk to you later. Bye. L O N W No wrong out <laughs> Hello YouTube This is you no and no oh. Is it on or not? Are you well can you use that now? When I